everyone, welcome back to the Red Engineer video and welcome to another episode of Easy Farms. And this one we're actually going to be taking a look at all of the Easy Farms that I've built and if they still work in Minecraft 1.16 or Minecraft 1.17 right now. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Unfortunately, I don't have episodes 1, 2, and 3 available, but I do have episode 4. In episode 4, we took a look at Guardian Farms. This right here is a foreign farm that I built in the Ethereum C server. It was efficient, but it really wasn't at the same time. It was it wasn't very efficient. But there's already been an update to this. It should be um, in the eye up in the corner. But if you want to still build this farm, probably would still would work. But it's much less efficient than the one I just posted on my channel a few days ago. So if you have a choice. Or if you haven't managed to, I would definitely choose one that I posted a few days ago, other than this one. The episode 9, ninth episode, instead of this one, which is just more for casual drops. That one's more for, like, hardcore, because the big problem with this is that this is just a long two. It was designed for a different purpose, whereas that one's designed for actual guardian farms, not a casual guardian farm with these towers. And it's much less expensive to build as well which is quite useful. Alright, so let's go on to episode 5. Five, we took a look at sugarcane farms. This is a sugarcane farm that I designed. It's quite good, I would say, but this one is going to need an update. I feel, like it's, I feel like it deserves a little bit more sugarcane for the size that it produces. So I'll probably post an update to this one, probably a different update to this. And you can probably still this if you want to. It's episode 5 of Easy Farms, but I really wouldn't suggest it as it's kind of outdated and designed for Minecraft 1.15. 1.16, we might be able to do something more to it. So without further ado, let's move on to episode 6. So I might want to say that it was episode 3 actually the sugarcane farm, not episode 5. Episode 5 is actually the witch farm, so let's get into the witch farm now. Episode 5, we took a look at witch farms, and this actually is the first farm that I recommend for you to continue to build. This one's quite efficient and utilizes every single part of the witch hut. And this is actually the first farm that I would definitely recommend someone to build that actually is still working. I've tested this a few, a few times, and it works just the way as, as it anticipated it should. So this farm still does work, even though it was designed in Minecraft 1.16.0, or 1.15.2, I don't really remember. But the... Actually, I can just check right now. Do, 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 do. 9th, 2020. I think this is still built in 1.15.2, so it would still work in 1.16.5 and the 1.17 snapshot. So I would definitely recommend this. Now, we're going to work on episode 6. 6, we took a look at, at Iron Golem Farms, and this is a farm that I designed. It doesn't work. It really doesn't work at all. I would not suggest build this farm, but I'm actually currently working on an update to the iron farms that is going to be much, much more efficient and is in, isn't going to be using less space and is not going to have the issues with the villagers. So just be wary of that, and I highly doubt to not do this. But I mean, you could still build this if you want to, but it's going to need a lot of modifications. First the one that I'm working on right now is a completely overworld-based farm and will work 100%. So I am giving you like a sneak teaser, I guess. Yeah, the arms. Yeah, this farm is completely broken. Do not build it. In episode, what is episode is this now? Episode seven. We looked at Enderman farms, and once again, this is a farm that I would suggest you still build. It works really efficient and gives off tons and tons of Endermen and tons and tons of experience. And especially with the new aspects of one point seventeen, which is called XP stacking, you get some pretty good XP out of this. But this isn't. This isn't the best. This isn't the best that I can offer, so which is why I'm working on the iron farm and a new sugarcane farm as well. This one's pretty awesome, and I would highly recommend it. In episode... Seven... This is not episode six. Is it? This isn't episode six, but point is, we took a look at Weather Skeleton Farm. So, this Video actually doesn't this. really work yeah. very well. I don't have clips for it, but I'm. this is going to definitely be something I'm going to have to update again. So I do have a few things I do need to update, but other than that, it's a quite efficient farm. But I definitely think that you, sh that you should not build this farm either. It is quite inefficient, and there are definitely better ways to do this. Brings us to present day with the Guardian farm that I've just finished working on. I don't need to say much about this video because I just worked on it. It works efficiently, and also... Re you can refer to the episode 10, the science behind the Guardian farm video, which should be coming out 
before this one does about it. So if you guys see that video, then you'll then you'll see the explanation behind this farm and how why it works so well. So I think that's I think all the farms are wrapped up for today. So you will expect new versions of the one second. You expect new versions of the iron farm, sugarcane farm, and weather skeleton farm to come, and but the guardian farm, the witch farm, and the enderman farms. This one, this guardian farm, not the other one, still work pretty well in Minecraft 1.17 and Minecraft 1.16. So I thank y'all for watching. If you liked the video, leave it a like, and if you want to, make sure to subscribe, minus and the channel. The engineers out here. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.